I just crack a lack and everybody out there in YouTube land. It is Joe coming at you guys with a strapping tutorial. Okay. Um, you guys have really, really taken to the video that I made a little while ago, uh, EVA foam armor, where I uh, go into a little bit of depth about uh, the process that I go through when I'm making and designing my armor. Um, but the question that I've been getting a lot is, that's really cool and all, but how do I make strapping for it? Like, how do I secure it to myself? And tonight I thought I would address that. Um, I've prepared three examples for you guys. You know, in all honesty, when it comes down to it, 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 it really is a lot of the time a matter of preference. There's a bunch of different ways that work. Um, the examples I'm going to show you are just three examples that I've worked with in the past that I find to be reliable. So, um... Awesome. Let's get started. Hope you guys are ready for some knowledge. Um, the first example is going to be this piece that I made quite a while ago. Um, well, not quite a while ago, maybe a month or two back. Um, so this piece is actually quite simple. Uh, this is a piece that I managed to put together in about a night. I didn't really have a template or any plan in particular for it. I pretty much just cut out a bunch of random shapes and said, you know what, whatever, fuck it, that works. And... Um, yeah, that's basically all I did with this. Uh, so there are three things on this that secure this to my arm. One is obviously this right here, this arch that goes underneath the forearm. The second one goes right underneath the arch, and that is this. This is one inch elastic. I got an entire roll of this stuff, which is this, off eBay for like five bucks. Just search one inch elastic. Okay, it's pretty simple. And um, how I secure this on to the armor was inside here on the armor. As I went over in my previous video, the EVA foam armor video, when you heat this foam, it seals the cells. So when you try to use any kind of adhesive on that, on cells that are already sealed, it tends to only stay on the surface of it and doesn't adhere really well. It still adheres, but it doesn't tend to last a very long time. So in order to counter that, like say it's something you've already heated and shaped like I did here, um, what I ended up doing in order to get the strapping to fit better is I ended up sanding it with very low grip sandpaper just to sort of open those cells back up. And then I um, just did a couple dabs of hot glue and uh, pushed it in and it works just fine, which is great, you know, success is success. Um, this piece is actually kind of unique in the sense that I also incorporated two neodymium magnets to this hinge right here, as you'll see, you know. Um, I have this one under here, which is kind of dull. I don't know if you guys can differentiate that from the foam and the elastic that's under it. And I have this one right here. These have just been uh, super glued into the foam. I roughed up the back of the magnets and I also sanded the foam. And I just super glued them there so they have a better contact and adhesion surface. And uh, it works great, you know. So I basically just go open that up. Make sure this elastic strap is nice and far back on my forearm. And voila. See, I realized early on that if I made this a solid band, it was going to be a huge, huge pain in the butt to get my hand through that. So I had to devise this. And it works just fine. Closes itself and everything. So that's example number one. You know, that's that's something you can keep in mind. Um, example number two is actually very, very simple. I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this is referred to as just a really basic hinge or a clamshell or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But um, what I did for this was I fabricated this lower piece, which is going to go under the forearm. And obviously I made the entire top of the armor as well. And um, I have the soft little squares of Velcro right here. This is just sticky back Velcro. You can get packages of this at Lowe's, Home Depot, Orchard Supply and Hardware for like next to nothing. They're like freaking dirt cheap and it comes in a pretty big package. Like I think 20 soft pieces and 20 rough pieces. And the adhesive that they use on the back of these is actually ridiculously strong. So, you know, that's, uh, that works. That won't come off on you or anything. It's, uh, it's, it, it's nice and sturdy. So for the actual hinge itself, what I ended up doing was I took some of this one inch elastic and I roughed up the foam again. And um, what I did was I just uh, cut uh, two and a half inch long pieces and I set them apart by a one and three quarters of an inch each way down right here. And I just 
glued them into place, set the Velcro into place, and that was pretty much it. Bang, bang, boom, you're done. The last example I have is something that I made recently that I'm, I'm gonna admit I'm actually quite proud of, uh, especially for something that I made that as per usual, uh, didn't really have any planning behind it, just something I kind of had a bunch of scraps and I'm like, you know what, let's, 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 let's see what we can make out of this. Let's see if we can make something cool, something that'll jive. And uh, so what I made was this. Uh, this has a blade on top that is secured with neodymium magnets, so you can take the blade and voila. Then take the blade off. And voila, it's freaking magical. Now what I did was this piece right here is actual, this is metal, okay? This isn't foam. So obviously the magnet's gonna stick to that. And um, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll go into this in a later video. But uh, what I did for this was my favorite strapping system, which is I took these buckles, like so. I took the um, elastic and I fed it through the buckle, like so. And once I had it about that long, mind you, you can have this flap on top or underneath. It doesn't really matter. It's still plenty strong either way. Then I take about a just a basic line of hot glue, lead it right down the center right here, then I fold it over onto it, but I stretch it and I try and press it very carefully at the same time, just try and keep from burning yourself, that sucks. And then once it starts cooling, you slowly let it relax back and the hot glue actually pushes its way through the um, fabric of the elastic and it locks itself into place and it gives you an amazingly, amazingly tight bond. Then you cut that, Rough up your foam a little bit with some low grit sandpaper. Do the same thing on this side that you did with this side. Cut it out, adhere it, and that's literally it. You just want to make sure that you don't make both loops the same size. Because if you look at your forearm, this is a lot thicker. The circumference of your upper forearm is a lot thicker in most cases than your wrist. Uh, this tends to vary from person to person, obviously, but in my case, you can tell there's actually a very, very big difference. So, if you look at it, this is actually a pretty big loop, whereas the wrist is actually a relatively small loop, okay? I actually goofed up on this a little bit because I realized also that I'm going to be wearing something else under this. I'm wearing a black long sleeve shirt, so I actually need to loosen these up a little bit. I need to go at them with some heat and just move them up a little, just make it a tiny, tiny bit looser. And um, in all honesty, that's actually pretty much it. Uh, this is just forearm pieces. I'm going to be going into how to strap um, stuff like pauldrons and stuff like that in a later video. But uh, I hope you guys found this uh, relatively educational. Um, that's pretty much it for the time being. It's uh, 5.30 a.m. here. I'm not really all that tired, so I guess I'll probably make one or two more videos. And uh, yeah, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you want. That'd really help me out. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching these videos. I'm glad they can be of some use. And uh, yeah, awesome. I look forward to uh, making more videos and hoping I can educate your brains. Awesome. Peace in the Middle East, y'all.